Welcome to our presentation today, this morning. It's called uh, Awesome Powers. Why? Because um, I would like to present to you a service and a couple of extensions which uh, we believe um, help you save a lot of time in all sorts of different situations, regardless whether you're a uh, web agency or um, site administrator or you're running your own site where you're posting blog posts or um, running newsletters from. Um, the first service that I would like to talk about is Standing Cloud. I mentioned it yesterday during the MailChimp presentation. Um, it's a service which lets you deploy, um, for example, Joomla as a service onto the cloud of your choice. For example, Rackspace Cloud or um, Amazon Web Services and so forth. Um, you can actually give it a try on, on our site. If you, um, if you click the, the link at the top right, you can also fin uh, find some links on the Getting Started page. Basically what it does, it takes you to this page, you click on use it now and then you can uh, get started with the Joomla site. It installs it uh, within a couple minutes. Um, you can use your Google or Yahoo or Facebook account to get started so it's really fast. Um, essentially time saving and cutting down on routine processes uh, should be everybody's goal. Um, and that's why we have interesting presentations here like continuous integration, but this also applies to other areas, for example, like um, site population. Um, I know there's a couple of um, other extensions like the mass, uh, mass content, I believe it's called, um, but all you do is um, enter things into fields in a, in a view. You can't actually necessarily save those, review them, or pass them to uh, your coworkers to work on them. So, Standing Cloud helps you deploy um, a Joomla mailer site, uh, a Joomla site with Joomla mailer pre-installed, and all you have to do uh, once you get going, uh, you install the content uploader. That's uh, the extension which uploads um, Excel sheets into your site to turn each row into articles so that you can populate your site with hundreds of articles, set up the site structure with sections and categories in a spreadsheet, and then just have it instantly populate your site with it. I guess all you guys know how this goes. For safety purposes, um, I did like a slideshow of screenshots in case the internet wasn't working too well. So after installation, um, we head to the interface. Um, it's very simple. You have a upload button with a browse um, button next to it where you select your Excel file that you want to upload. Um, in our case, um, what I'm trying to demo here is a, a shop, a small one with a tiny product catalog um, who updates uh, the catalog periodically and then sends out newsletters with the contents. And you'll see in a second how this is extremely time saving if you're using this combination of extensions. Um, as you can see, the, the interface resembles a lot the, the create um, article view. Um, what you do is you add uh, the cell references from where you want to pull the, the data into a particular field or into your WYSIWYG. Um, you, you place them at the, at the place that you need to have them in. For example, let me show you this. All right. Um, we have a spreadsheet here. This is our shop sample. Um, the section and the categories uh, we've taken the, um, put in the front. You can see it's in A and B. If you look at the configuration, we put down for the section column A and the category column B. It is pretty straightforward. If we have a look at some of the other columns, we have um, uh, the author of the book, uh, the prices, whether it's in stock or not. Um, and you can set these up in a table. And if you then have hundreds of items, they, each one of them gets put into this mini template, so to speak, that you can set up with your WYSIWYG. So after you've done that and you've created your Excel file, what's happening? All right, you select it. 
you hit the upload button it will inform you that uh, it was successful hopefully um, it will usually tell you if something goes wrong for what reason it will go wrong so that you can go back and fix it right away uh, it's usually uh, some missing field or missing title in the in the Excel sheet that might throw an error at your article manager and you see the results instantly all the articles are there so what you do next um, in this process usually if you want to add five articles to your site you know you have to go in create an article copy paste your contents um, do mo modifications to them if you want uh, put stuff in tables and do some HTML and then repeat that for as many products you would have. Um, in this case you can do that straight away in one Excel sheet. Um, and the idea behind this is that these contents that you have now quickly created in Excel you can send off into, uh, via a newsletter within just a few more steps. So um, I'm not entirely sure how familiar everybody is with Joomla Mailer. Um, I've cut down a bit um, on the meat on this one and you'll only see the um, campaign creation process. Um, but you have other options uh, like uh, subscriber module, registration plugin, a bunch of features how you can manage your subscribers on your site. So after uploading our contents, um, we hit create campaign on the first tab you set up your your default uh, settings if you haven't already in your parameters you give your campaign a name and the subject that the, your, the subscribers will see in your email client and then we get to the interesting part adding the content we select the template um, which you can also create inside Joomla Mailer with a template editor it's really easy uploading your your own header and changing the colors and then you get a list of all the different items that are in your books category, uh, section. Um, these sections and categories got created automatically, which you can now just uh, set a check mark uh, for each one of the items that you want in your newsletter. You can also select whether you want to, to add them as full text or only the intro text would read more links. Um, and you know, that's basically all to it. Um, you have a sidebar um, in which you can add uh, promotional codes or ads from other companies or just other text. Um, you also have the option to add a table of contents which is quite interesting when you have a catalog because then people can jump straight to the point that interests them via an anchor anchor link. Um, in our case we just added the ad and our Twitter credentials turned on analytics so that you can also uh, track your campaign in Google Analytics and see the impact at the point in time that it had when you sent out the newsletter campaign. Uh, the last tab is the folders tab which I particularly like because it helps you organize your newsletter campaigns very easy. Um, instead of detaching this from, from the actual process like MailChimp does, we brought it back in so that you are always again reminded to assign your campaigns to a folder. <coughs> then you preview um, the newsletter you just created and you can see um, Mums Know Best, the, the top book in our list. The author and some information. You can see the price. It's all in there. You can scroll down a bit and see the books listed that we just added to our site just a couple minutes ago. So once you save your campaign, um, you choose your list. In our case we didn't have quite a lot of in, um, interested people, uh, only four. <coughs> and you can then also segment your list, especially when you're running a shop. You know, some people might be interested in, in thriller books and some others in, I don't know, comedy. Um, and if you collect these uh, these interests, then you can also accordingly send the product catalogs based on these interests. Then you just hit the send button, and you know the newsletter goes out. Top right. 
then you wait a little bit while and then you can see all the stats that uh, your campaign is generating or better said the, the results mm. in the front end you just have your articles just like any other articles you can style them according to your needs um, you can check your email and you will receive the email just as you have uh, prepared it for your subscribers this is the the gist of um, of the awesome powers it's basically um, a lot of time that you can save by skipping all the manual work that you'd have to do when when, when creating um, any website even if you have client site uh, clients for example and um, all they are really responsible for are the contents um, then suggested them to enter them into an Excel sheet instead of Word documents and which will make your life a lot easier um, because as you've seen you can then just upload them instead of doing the whole manual process which a lot of people just dread um, we have a few interesting cases on our forums um, probably one of the most interesting ones is uh, a company called learning markets they, they teach about stock exchange um, and and how to understand the markets and they lo upload um, incredible m amounts of historical financial data with the content uploader um, and use sections and categories inside Joomla to uh, to divide them up and basically their project wouldn't have been possible really w without it um, in Joomla because it would have taken them probably years to populate the site and then um, that's the gist of it and I was wondering if you guys had any ideas um, or any instant ideas of, of what you could employ an Excel uploader for or what you would like to see in the future to be able to upload mass contents to oh by the way I totally forgot to mention um, in admin tools which also surprised me um, you have the URL redirects which you can manage um, with the content uploader you can upload a spreadsheet with the URL redirects if you have also admin tools installed so this also save you a lot of time um, it works with K2 your web contacts uh, your web links and Joomfish translations as well so you can set up a workbook with your main contents on the first sheet in English and then you have copies of these sheets in your other languages and you can upload all of those at once so that's where Mm -hmm. Yep, you will get an option, you know, to choose the languages if you have it installed. Extra fields, everything. Mm -hmm. um, this is the only thing. Obviously, you can put an image into Excel and then upload it. Um, so what you do is you do a mass upload of all your images and put your image reference into. Um, into the WYSIWYG. Actually, let me show you something really quick. You, because it's it's just a basic content editor. You can use any plugin in here when you're setting up your configuration. If you want to add a YouTube video here and you have all video plugin installed, you know you just do your YouTube tags and you add the code in there uh, the reference to into that video in your spreadsheet and then book you have all these videos embedded yes please well it is entirely up to you um, in the in K2, in the k2 one uh, let me see if it's in You mean for that image tab? Actually, I'm not even entirely sure at the moment, but um, I'm pretty sure that it does work because all the other tabs work as well. I've never come across this question, but uh, I'll look into it. But all the other tabs work for sure. Um, also, your extra fields, you can create as many and and basic 
anywhere you can put a cell reference, you know, or anywhere you can add anything, you can add um, a cell reference from the Excel spreadsheet. In our commercial version, uh, which is a lot more feature rich, um, that's where the K2 um, uploader is in. Um, you can also add some more cell references to certain um, fields, for example, for the author or uh, for the access level, I believe, as well, um, so that you can set it different for different articles instead of for the entire batch. Also for the for the front page and these kind of things, you will also be able to set it on an individual basis in the pro version. But this, you know, does the job. If, if you're a small company, you just you know don't run any fancy extensions. Uh, this can save you a lot of time. Mm -hmm, yes. Um, you mean um, when you're sending the, the email? Yeah. Oh, um, Joomla Mailer, what it does is uh, when people register on your site, uh, you can use the registration plugin to, to put a checkbox for the newsletter on your registration page, on the core page. Uh, it overrides it, and people have the choice uh, to uh, um, sign up from there. And in the configuration, you can also add your Sugar CRM or high rise APIs so that you can add those users also to these two systems uh, to, you know, for context management. Um, yes? About the, uh, is the security of the now, uh -huh. uh, Do you plan on uh, supporting some uh, of subscription components so that you can always send uh, newsletter to your subscribers? Yes. Good, uh, but that's also uh, what you didn't catch yesterday. So, give me a second, please. Um, what you didn't catch yesterday was that uh, we're building a content plugin system for this, so that you can uh, create a plugin for Flexi content or for for any other type of uh, subscription system. Also, that you can also send your subscriptions to your users, you know, to entice them to buy more, and. Um, also, you know, um, with the content plugin system, you'll be able to basically put in any kind of contents into your newsletters. Um, absolutely. Um, and this is what we're currently working on. Um, and um, we're testing it on a Flexi one, and after that, uh, we're looking at uh, building an Akiba subscriptions one. You'll be happy about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. So you launched your instance at Scan Cloud. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that's for scan issues. That you guys are allowing people to launch in the cloud or what the No. Um in order to, you know, test an extension, uh you Oh, is this just a demo site? Kind of. I mean you can do both, you know, just demo it and continue using it if you like it, really. Um but primarily it's it's a demo site because it's hard to, to demo this stuff um, because it's all admin functions. So them offering to us to create a, an image with Joomla Mailer pre-installed was just uh, very lucky for us. Um. Joomla Mailer is either pay monthly or pay as you go. So you can choose whatever fits you best. Um, they have pretty good monthly plans because with those, sorry, you can uh, send out unlimited emails. So there's not a just buy once it's yours? No. Hmm. Um, they have very strict regulations as to how you can collect your emails. Uh, MailChimp, um, 
Um, in order to use Joomla Mailer, you, you do need to use Mailchimp. Um, we did that and to be able to offer uh, the infrastructure to Joomla users, basically. <coughs> and, and this is their application network. I mean, they have. Here's another one of our um, plugins, except it's a mail, um, Mailchimp plugin for WordPress, with which you can also pass contents back and forth. You can also fire it up from here and uh, give it a test drive if you're a WordPress user. Am I allowed to say this word here? <laughs> and as you can see, it, it works the same way for, for all these different uh, web apps. It's quite an interesting uh, concept that they're ha having. <clears throat> and when you're deploying this, um, you can see here on my thing, you know, tel these instances were deployed on the Rackspace cloud. You know, if, if they're for free, their test uh, instances have filled up their um, their allocated space on, on that particular cloud, then they'll fire up Amazon or something else. So yes, the idea of today's presentation was um, that I hope that you'll be able to save you or your you know clients some time in the future and uh, make a bit more money that way. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if, you know, more questions? All right, thanks for coming so early on a Sunday. <laughs> and um, that's it for me. Thank you very much.